See, these are common sense things that we are taught in science when we are in school. It's just about, I think as we grow up, we start forgetting it and we're like, school se bhar aa gaya, so forget. But these things are very important when you're, what you're taught in science in your ninth and 10th. Uh, just the makeup, of, it's just the makeup of your body and it's about being healthy. If you know something is harmful for you, I think you should go out and say it's harmful for you or it's bad. Thank you, sir, for your questions. Any more questions? I think we'll take one more question if uh, you have one. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I can see. Hi, Varun. Latika here. Hi, what's up? Hi, I'm good. Uh, Acha, what do you think, according to you, what can be the solution for these smokers? You know, should they be sent to a proper rehab? Because, and don't you think that the smoking, should, you know, the, the smoke thing, the cigarette should be banned? from using or the shops and everything should be closed? Uh, you know, honestly, uh, for me, I don't think, I think, I don't think banning something is the solution. It's, it's, I think it's, it's something, uh, it's choice basically. It's basically that human being has to, either he makes this choice that I have to do it, or I will quit, or he'll continue. And it's that individual that has to make uh, that, that, uh, what do you call it, that decision. We as individuals, as a society can only go as far as just saying that this is bad for you or good for you, but in a very serious manner. My biggest issue I think with the whole thing and the reason why I got with uh, Shalini and uh, Tata for this was because, you know, in films, they would show this video before the films would start for anti-smoking. For me, that video never worked because I would go see films and like out of my seven f friends, out of three of I, my friends, I would get really upset with me. But of my seven friends, four of them are smokers. That's the percentage. So whenever that ad would come, they would actually want to go and smoke after seeing that ad. They would get so depressed after seeing that ad, like, nee, yaar, mereko cigarette chahi. That, that is what their reason would be. And I, so they're not actually getting the message of why they should not smoke. The actual message is you should not smoke. It's bad for you. It's going to harm you. And for a youngster, what is it? If you're playing cricket and you have to take two runs, you'll take one run and stop because you've got tired. I think for him to understand, you have to... Make it so simple. Itne simple mein samaj jau ki ye hone wala hai aapko. And I think a lot of other things that youngsters need. For me, I think what worked out the best was that my mother very early on, she didn't tell me, no Varun, you cannot smoke or don't ever smoke. She told me, Varun, it's really bad for you. And if you want to make a good body or have a good body or you want girls to like you, then I think you should not smoke. And, and honestly, at a really young age, at like eight or nine, that really worked on my psyche. That, and somewhere it's ingrained in my brain that, you know, I'm not going to be healthy. And every now and then when we went out and there were uncles who smoked, she would tell me in my ear, see, see, he smokes or this. And that, and that would always play in my mind that, you know, I, do, I didn't want to grow older and look like that or be like that. I wanted to be a positive influence on children. So I, for all the adults actually out there, and I kind of consider myself an adult now because I can vote and all. So... <laughs> So honestly, for all the adults out there, I am no one to teach anyone anything, but my appeal is that we need to do this to set an example for our children, for the future of our country. And that's why, and most actors also, sir, you'll be surprised, who even do smoke will support this cause. Even the people who do smoke, trust me, even the smokers, if you tell them, oh, you want to do an anti-smoking campaign, if they can be honest enough and come out and say, okay, we do smoke, but we, do, we condemn this. I've heard so many actors say this. In fact, I've heard Shah Rukh Khan say this in so many interviews of his on social media that, okay, I do smoke, but I, I'm trying to quit for many years and I think it's a bad habit and I don't encourage anyone to do it. And there's a reason behind that. So I think people just need to be more honest about it and stay away from the coolness of smoking, but it's not cool at all. Uh, one last thing, please, let me please continue. Uh, Varun, don't you think that the actors have been idealized by the youth and the audiences that watch you all on, cin on the cinema theatres? So don't you think that the smoking or the alcohol consumption on screen or off screen by some means uh, does does it not impact the audience like uh, because they obviously they idealize you guys it definitely does but why do you think i'm sitting here i'm sitting here to change that only no <laughs> that's the reason i'm here they definitely do idealize us for the bad things and the good things we do and at the end of the day we are human beings but i'm trying to make a difference and i'm trying to kind of take a stand and I'm even I in fact told Shalini with whom we made the video that tomorrow if I get a character that does smoke I will might uh, I might have to do it on screen and might have to play that character you know and in fact in one of my films my last films in Humpty Sharma Ki Dolani I had to smoke 
But I smoked so inconvincingly that everyone was like, Arey, he mouth fags so or he, he doesn't inhale it. And I was like, yeah, I don't smoke, so I don't know how to do it. Without start coughing and people would laugh on me on set. But uh, what I'm trying to say is that that's not reality. That's not life. So, I mean, that much, it, that's another thing of people being educated and not like, you know, getting too moved by films and stuff like that and trying to idolize film stars. I think I've said this before also. If, uh, the genera if the young generation needs to idolize someone, they should idolize our sports stars like Sanya Nehwal and Sanya Mirza and Dhoni and Virat. I think Sachin Tendulkar, these are the people to idolize, not film stars, I think. Thank you for your question and thank you for your questions. Well, uh, Varun is here with us and how can I let him go without speaking? But let me introduce him to you uh, uh, briefly. Uh, did you all know that he studied business management from the Nottingham Trent University? Yeah, and he began his career as assistant director to Karan Johar on the 2010 film uh, My Name is Khan, after which he made a very successful debut in the film The Student of the Year Fair. After which, of course, we've seen him in films such as uh, Main Tera Hero, Hamti Sharma Ki Dulhaniya, and most recently, Badlapur, in which your performance was loved and appreciated. Ladies and gentlemen, we believe that uh, an ounce of prevention is better than pounds of cure, and his being in that film there will help prevent many teenagers from taking up smoking. Varun Dhawan, we need to hear from you here, please. We'd like to clap at this point. It'll be perfect. Thank you once again for being here. Yes. I'm sorry we, sorry. Hello? I'm sorry we did this backwards and the introduction came to come later. But uh, <clears throat> my thoughts of being uh, part of this film, uh, you know, they dot back to, I think, when I was in college in the 11th standard and uh, one of my best friends had started smoking then. And uh, he hid it from me. So everyone in our group knew that uh, my best friend, he smokes and he hid it from me because he knew like, you know, I was like a little bit of a mama's boy and I would probably go tell his mother or his sister. And he didn't tell me. And that's, and then eventually I came to know we had a fight and this and that and then we are best friends. Obviously we went back to being best friends. But what I did realize is that by creating fear in someone that you're going to condemn their actions so much that you might crucify them or, or make them or judge them or make them like a anti-social element, people will, I think, hide more from you and that will make people, if, it, if something is a taboo, they'll want to do it again, you know? It's like almost lying to mama and papa. Oh, I'm going to lie to my parents and sneak out. All these things do happen. I think they happen more because uh, hiding something from someone and getting away with it, people think it's cooler. So I think the element of fear needs to be removed from smoking. Okay, you smoke, that's bad. Don't smoke, it's bad for your body. Okay, you smoke, if you smoke near a pregnant lady, the fume, the, uh, you'll smoke, she'll inhale the smoke. It's going to be bad for her and her child. So don't smoke here. Why don't you go outside and smoke? But it's okay if you smoke. It's your decision. It's your life. I think we need to make it in that sense. It's your life. So whatever you're doing, it's bad for your body. You are harming yourself. And, and by harming yourself, you're going to only do bad for yourself. Because I think today's day and age, the world that we kind of live in, it's so competitive. People are out there trying to, you know, move forward. Even children, from a small age, they know where they want to get, where, what they want to do. So I think it's very important that they need to know that somewhere down the line, they'll be a little back in the race. Their friends will go ahead because that's an advantage. Not smoking is an advantage as a human being, I think, today. So for me, someone getting into the film line that's so competitive today, uh, I knew. A, uh, can I get a cigarette or can I smoke? And, you, and the, that kid doesn't even know how to smoke, but he'll smoke to kind of get into that gang. And that's, I, for me, me, if people do consider me a youth icon or whatever they consider me, I would like to condemn that and say that that's the most uncoolest way of making a friend. And that's not the real way of making a friend. A real fr friend will be someone who tells you don't smoke. So my reasons were, uh, a mixed bag of my childhood while growing up and seeing people smoke and seeing people do drugs or whatever, which happen in our society and uh, kind of uh, getting out of it. And one last thing I would like to say honestly that I have tried a cigarette, I have smoked and I didn't like it and hence I don't do it. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.